Hi everyone, I am Vishal and today we are going to discuss about Crane Multi-Tenant SaaS CRM. So here are some of the listed features over here. So we are quickly going through it like the super admin has the ability to create tenants and give their own domains. Tenants can log in into their open source multi-tenant CRM admin panel dashboard using the domains assigned to them. The super admin can create, modify and remove roles within the open source multi-tenant CRM. There are custom permission as well like you can assign a specific roles. The super admin can add, change or delete the agents. Right. Agents can be assigned the roles that have been created. The super admin can mark an agent status as either active or inactive. There are filters available to search the agent's roles and tenants. The super admin and tenants can set multiple locale and it also support RTL languages. So directly moving towards the functionality. So this is the merchant registration page of Crane Multi-Tenant SaaS CRM. You click on to this register button. And now you need to enter the email ID to register your merchant. So I am entering user one example.com. Now I need to enter the password of the merchant. All right. Now moving further, enter the name user one and the username is site one. This will be my domain name site one one c name description goes here all right now click here as you can see url is been created like site one sas crane version 2.com so one domain has created and it's his personal dashboard now we are going to create two merchant also like uh, if I want to I'm logging out again and again creating a new one register. So now we are going to create for the second merchant that is user 2 there the email validation is also applied like if I want to register the same email address again. It will give a message like email has already been taken so there's a validation is also applied all right moving further user 2 this will be my second domain site 2 there's the description of user 2 all right so the URL is something like this, like site to SaaS crane version 2.com. Now we are logging in and creating a third merchant like user three. User three. My domain name same description goes here. All right, now we have three domains. This is for site three, this is for site two, for the user one. We are again logging in. By this you can create and register a merchant. Now we are moving toward the super admin login. So here is the super admin login. We need to enter the credential. Enter the email and the password. Inside the tenants we have all the registered users tenants which we just created. Now in the tenants functionality, you can edit this tenant as a super admin. Like if I want to change the email, if I want to deactivate this status of this particular user, I can do as a super admin. 
so like if i want to change the name like this and like this so as a super admin i have the right to manage this i can inactive the status if i want to change the details i can do it easily as a super admin now oh, i'm making activate again you can also like mass delete this also you can delete it one by one like this and you can also apply a filter as per the id name email username domain and status this will help to find out the data more easily so here is the tenant if i want to create a tenant as a super admin i can create that as well like a user for i can enter the email id password domain description and in this status a super admin can also create a one tenant as we have three domains right now so i'm not creating that but you can create it easily after clicking on to this create tenant button now moving further inside the settings so by default we have registered one administrator user i'm going to create one role and after that i will going to create one agent and in that particular agent i will assign the role and in that role i will give the custom permission accordingly so when the agent will logged in like i will show you while creating a role firstly i am creating a role i am deleting other one uh, if i want to delete other one and this role is associated to another tenant or agent so this cannot be deleted this will show the error message like it is belong and role cannot deleted as this is being used in admin user so i am going to create a new role and i will give the custom permission like i will give the right to see the agents and roles only i am not giving the right to create tenants like i am not giving the right to create edit or delete and this will be my testing role testing role and here goes my description now i'm clicking on save as role a new role is created and now we are going to create one agent click on to this create agent button enter the name sample.com password enable the status and inside this role option all the created role will get visible over here now it's my choice like which role i want to give to that particular agent that i am going to give this new testing role which we just created and now click on to the save as agent as you can see new agent is created successfully now i'm logging in this agent i'm logging out this right now when a new user is logged in but let's check it out the permissions like we didn't give right to create tenants so the button is not visible like you cannot create tenant you cannot able to edit or delete the tenant like in the administrator there is a option of actions in this like edit delete functionality will be there and inside the roles also you can not able to create roles you cannot able to edit or delete the roles same for the agents as well and this is it now if i like logged in again as a main administrator like you can see all the functionality is visible now like create tenant actions of edit delete same for the roles and same for the agents like you can manage it accordingly for which user you want to give the permissions and now we are moving towards the configuration part inside the configuration like a super admin can manage their local settings like if i want to change this whole dashboard into the arabic language i can select that arabic language and click on to the save configuration 
and as you can see the admin panel is now turned out into the Arabic one. Now if I want to change the locale like Persian, Persian language is selected now. See and now if I want to change it to the Portuguese will also be done into the Portuguese locale like here and at last I'm again switching it to the English back to normal all right so these are the locale settings and now we have also like dark mode or light mode for the super admin like this for the merchants as well while creating a merchant we have added this dark mode or light mode here all right so these are the complete functionality of crane multi-tenant SaaS CRM so this is all about it and don't forget to like comment and share this video and hit the bell icon for the upcoming notifications thank you